Julie, could you put this over by Pierre's chair? Oh, they're going to lie about it, I'm sure. Today is the solstice. This morning was the turn. And I had cards for you all, solstice cards, and they're all at home waiting for me to do something, wake up. They were in my car this morning. I think I moved them. I accidentally got here at 7, so then I got to go back home. And that was good because I'd gotten up too late to sit. So I went home, sat, came back. Yeah, that worked. Because I'd been involved in a weird state. You know where you set your clock and then you go to sleep and you wake up 30 minutes early and you think, I'll just rest here for 30 minutes. And then your alarm doesn't go off and you wake up an hour and a half later at <laughs> 6 o'clock. And you're like, <laughs> So then I rushed, got ready and came to this. This is a little comic interlude before you actually start the real Parmenides session. There it is. Really? Hmm. He's always asking what? How can I deal with these buddies of mine that I bring with? Oh.
I totally don't get the part that says they believe the nature of their system. I totally don't understand that part. Unless they understand their own system, it's likely that it could not take place. That they... It, 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 it already assumes a degree of sophistication. Hmm. Like not just a fundamentalist, but someone who has been schooled in it. Ideally, a Roman Catholic Jesuit. who's gone through a seminary and someone who could reflect with you on certain. See, no, uh, the average uh, believer can't follow this logic. So it, it presupposes someone is similar to Aristoteles within their own system. Look, look here. Do you know what? Do you know any Roman Catholic? Or somebody who has history as? Yes, you do. Okay. In Arizona. Hmm. Oh yes. Okay. He can follow reason, can't he? He's already embedded with a certain familiarity with the logos. Not complete, but nonetheless. He can follow it. Therefore, he's already embedded in the system. Similarly, it wouldn't, you know, you need a Carl Jungian who's really a Jungian. There are not many. That is someone who can represent the system and talk about it systematically. Hmm. So, mm. yeah, uh -huh. you know, it's, um, I think I'm still curious about to believe the nature of their system. For example, you said they would be embedded in their system and capable of reasoning, right? Oh, just to say, I think it says to show the believer the nature of their system. Oh, that's helpful. To show, I'm, I still have a question about the nature of their system. But other than that... I just thought I'd No, that's helpful. That's helpful. It would show them the nature of their system in terms of what you're doing. They would, they themselves would have to have the ability to follow that structured thinking. Yeah, like in Utah, the Mormons, they all have that background. Following the logos. That they, yeah, they, they're into the dialectic and they can follow logos. Is that right, Yanni? <laughs> See, 
There are very few people who take their own their system significantly as an intellectual object to master it as an mm. intellectual system. secondary sources to understand themselves, which is just about as absurd as you can get. Um, so you're talking about, for example, that they would see it as something knowable and as something different from the others and therefore be able to discriminate what is it to be a Catholic, a Jungian, a uh, Mormon, and therefore reason their way to the whole of it? Something like yes, that. but that is, a, that is a conclusion that they would have to reach. Mm. That, mm -hmm. That's close to the last stages of a dialectic. See, Parmenides goes down, we go up. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm reading in the Man and His Symbols right now by Jung. He says over and over again that you cannot know anything. You can't know any concept. You can, you can because understanding only takes you so far. And at that point, you reach a point where you can't be certain, you can't know, and that's where uh, you and you and certain things are implied. Well, this is talking about what symbols are and why symbols are, I guess, important. So he, he repeats that over and over again that there's a point where reason can't take you. Safety. See, the difficulty with that statement mm -hmm. is that it, it totally misunderstands the human mind. Right. Because, you know, I mean, you know. Well, because in what well, way? <laughs> yeah, thank you. In what way? Well, of course that's true. All he's pointing out is that there's a divided line. That's all. What the hell is new about that? Thank you. Oh, well, it's just that's funny, I think. True and funny. Right? That there's a understanding and then the use of reason or knowledge. And there's a gap between them all. Mm -hmm. An incommensurability. And an incommensurability. What the hell is new? What's she saying? Oh, here's something new. What the hell is she talking about? Does any know that it's not new? <laughs> Um, so would that be, go ahead. Just a foolish, just a foolish thing, that's all. Right. What? So is that why he could never know, they could never know their system? No, no, see that's where he's, <coughs> that's where he's wrong. That's where he's what? Wrong. Oh. Got kind of swallowed up by the machine. He doesn't see that by what, the role of understanding. So he's got it backwards. He doesn't know. What he's doing. No. Talk about Carl Jung. Anyhow, the goal of understanding in Plato is to understand what is knowable. Mm -hmm. That statement shows he doesn't understand that. Say it again, what you just said. That their um, understanding, there's a range of human understanding, and a, a range of human understanding. What about it? And it can only take you so far. Of course, you can. that isn't what you said before. And that there are concepts and ideas that you can never, you can never know, or know with certainty. And that, um, it, he doesn't understand that it is through understanding that prepares the Human mind for knowing. Doesn't take you for him, not. it's in, that the gap between it is in, in, unbridgeable. He doesn't see the role of understanding prepares the mind for insight. Can you hear that? Right. He Sorry. doesn't. He doesn't see the role of understanding prepares the mind for insight. That understanding only takes you so far, and that doesn't mean that there's no knowledge. 
Yeah, that makes him a European intellectual. There's mm -hmm. nothing new. It right. you know, goes all through Europe. That's their disease. Hmm. So the nature of their system refers to its ontological nature? So that's why it, it, one, if you show them where it lay with respect to being... No, you don't have any problem up to hypothesis six. Agreed. Right. Then the goal of that analysis or dialectic would be to show the believer the nature of their system mm -hmm. and why it's necessary to accept the second hypothesis is true. Okay. It's just nature, you know, it always throws me for a loop, the word nature. Well, and to have a nature of a system, that throws me. But nature of a system in which the self has a role, the self-image has a role, that I can work with. I'm, I'm just kind of working myself around it, right. the use of the word it nature. Is, it is rather curious. I use the word nature goes out here. Uh-huh. So the way in which their system uh, places the realm of phenomena, or, yeah. The or scope. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. okay, let's go to work. You're okay with that over there? You don't want to like squeeze it into this spot, for example? I yeah, moved I my stuff it. over yeah, so I that I could get it where you wanted it. From there. Yeah, or you could put it over the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have to smell that? Yeah. Okay, well, we left off in a nice place. We did. Um, but would that be, do we want to review, say, 8, 9, oh, 10? Sure, because it follows the, uh, the necessity. Uh, all through this, it's much, much, must, And it's a, a, a beautiful, it's, it's, a, it's a necessary. It's a, and in fact, he uses the great word necessary in the Greek. Anagaya, right? And okay, uh huh. Yeah. Do you want to read? Eight, Parma eight. Oops. Um, <clears throat> is this not also the case then? that the others must be different from self, or else the others would not be said to be different from that. Accordingly then... Now you should have a model in your mind, right? As if it's sketched out, right? Got the point? Interesting. Does the that would refer back to self? Arguably, uses, yeah. Okay. Because he uses I, that. I'd be in, uh, if we had time, I would ask, why is there a question? <coughs> <coughs> is there some ambiguity in it that allows an alternate view? But no. so proceed. I okay. Just, well, <coughs> Accordingly, then, difference in kind besides knowledge is present in self. Accordingly, then, difference in kind besides knowledge is present in self, so that when it is said that the one is different from the other, they will not speak of the difference in kind others, but of that. Well, except there is the article there, 
the tain, and oh, that's going to... The gonna, difference of that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I missed it. But of the difference of that. See, isn't that beautiful that they can just stick the article in and that means, hey, parallel, kid. Yeah, put that sucker in there. Put that that in belongs. There. Yep. Right, 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 right. So it has come to light. And certainly, the being that is not one must participate of that and of a certain one and of this and in relation to this and of these, and all such of these. For then neither could the one be spoken of, nor of those different than the one, nor would anything of that be present with that, nor could anything be said about the self. Could we read that once more? Yeah. It's yeah. You have to read it right with an emphasis. Right? Oh, I oh, could you read it? it? Oh. Because well, sure. yeah. he said he, <clears throat> there's a certain emphasis there. I forgot to finish it, too. Okay. Yeah. You want to finish it, then? Uh, if it neither participated of some nor of those others. I didn't see that. Hmm. And certainly, the being that is not one must participate of that and of a certain one and of this and in relation to this and of these and all such as these because for because neither could the one be spoken of nor of those differences than the one, nor nor could anything be that be present with that, nor could anything be said about the self if it neither participated of some of those and of others. Nor of those. Right. Mm -hmm. hmm. So now you could, uh, might uh, smoothen out the grammar, but... Uh, are we going to take the that up to self, Pia? Because, well, I'm just, I'm puzzling my way through all the that's, and we just have that meaning self, we're, we're referencing, and then you have the being not one, right, um, must participate of that. Is mm -hmm. that difference? Mm -hmm. Or is that self? Mm -hmm. Wait a while. Uh, difference? Uh, or is that that's the self. That's the self. Yeah. Okay. The being is not one must participate of that. Yes. And of a certain one, see? Mm-hmm. It's a certain one. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that, that he does in the Chinese. Uh-huh. That all of the elements are, are just mixed, so they float in and out of one another. And all you can really say... Such this, like... That mm -hmm. such that's mm -hmm. a such like mm -hmm. somebody such like ah right right see if, um. so it be as it would be the not one then well it's a certain one you can't leave that out mm-hmm. Right. Although there's no... But issue. that's what the not one is. <coughs> that's what the not um. one is. See what I find interesting is that unless he's left it out of the text, there's no one for of a certain, there, which can be supplied. It's not impossible, but... Um, he left out what oh, The so one. The certain one. There isn't a word for one in oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. Well, so I was just checking to yes, see. Yes, he, he's, yes. And... Um,
but it goes there. Yeah, it seems like it does. I was just kind of. And uh, in fact, it could. Uh, It, it could also be, it, which he also deals with, that it could also be many, the participation of many. Hmm. Well, you pointed out that differences was a plural mm -hmm. there. He hasn't gotten to any of those. I don't know if Pierre heard that. He hasn't gotten to many, though, yet, Pierre. He doesn't want. He hasn't gotten to many yet. Well, he has. Oh yeah. Others. Well, he doesn't talk about that as many yet. I'm just saying the, the list that he gives you is a manyness. It's, it's all such like. Yeah, that's a weird way to talk. Hmm. Right, because he's gonna. We keep going, he's going to say it. So why don't we ah. get there and say it? Okay. Well, does that work for you? <coughs> and cer okay, and, and the re way you read it, as, and certainly the being, the being that is not one, must participate of that, and of a certain, and of this, and in relation to this, and of these, and all such of these. For then neither could the one be spoken of nor of those different than the one, nor would anything of that be present with that, nor could anything be said about itself, if it neither participated of some nor of those others. So some is different than others, I take it. Is that... Are you in the paragraph... Ten. Um, 10. Well, why don't you go to 11? Okay, I ha okay, I have a question. 11. Thus, on the one hand, it is not possible for to be, to be present with the one, if indeed it does not exist. But on the other hand, nothing prevents it to participate of many. But it must even do so, even, or it, but it must even do so, if indeed the one is not, and is not something else than that. Certainly then, if neither the one nor that, then nothing will exist. But if the discourse or logos is about something else, then there is nothing that can be spoken of. But if non-existence underlies that one and is not something else, then it is also necessary for self to also have a share of that non-existence and of many others. Hmm. Major definition, right? There is the definition. Nice summary statement. Beautifully said. Mm. Boy. So it's on that reasoning that that I would say that the, the prior ten, a certain, I think it's really a certain many. Mm. But uh, he, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, can he, you can also put in one, if, uh, but it's, uh, of a certain thing, of a certain, yeah, yeah, see, uh, the conclusion, the conclusion is, oh, you know what he's doing, Pierre? What? This, of a certain one, 
is just his way of dealing with the article. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, okay, it's Quite true. okay. So it's like of a certain this, yeah. right? And of this. Yeah. So it's like of some this and of this and in relation to this. Yeah. So of a certain this. Right. Right. And of this and in relation to this That's and right. of these and goes plural, right? That's right. So okay, I it was screwing me up. That's why I'm putting well, it, it in words. I was like yeah. bumping up against yeah. it. Yeah. Well, you're okay. quite right. Um, <clears throat> and now he's going to gather those together and you know what we're dealing with we're dealing with the problem of many of us yes Here, how do you take the that in the fourth line of 11? Mm -hmm. Thus, on the one hand, it is hold not... It, hold it. Okay. Uh. English, well, whatever. Well, read this through okay. it. Okay. Thus, on the one hand, it is not possible for to be, to be present with the one if indeed it does not exist. But on the other hand, nothing prevents it to participate of many. But it must even do so, if indeed the one is not, and is not something other than that. That was the one I wasn't sure about. Mm -hmm. Certainly then, if neither the one nor... Okay, no, that's, that's what you wanted to talk about. Yeah, both that's in a row, yeah. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, well, the, the subject is participating in many. Mm hmm Right? Yes. It must yes. be so. Mm hmm Right? Mm hmm And this is his reasoning. Mm. That is to say, if indeed the one is not, and is not something else than that, right? If okay. There's no other alternative. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Now that would be a real crisis in in the discussion. Yes. Right. That if it were some that. Something other than itself. Yeah. Again. Yeah. 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 Are you good with that? The one, something else than itself as so described. Yeah. In that, yeah? It, which, hey, which would be what? It does not exist. Is it related? <laughs> if indeed. And the what? Yes. The what would. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. It doesn't exist. Oh, right, crisis, right? That's a crisis. <laughs> so, yeah. is it if indeed the one is not and is not something else than that which is the one that is not or many? I took it to be many, but so if indeed the one is not, and it is not something else, then the one is not. Is that what, how do we read that? Well, I don't know. Uh, you're stopping in the middle of the, of the sentence, aren't you? No, but in the, in the no, middle of the sentence. But ahead, maybe I'm not in the same place. Read your sentence. But it must even do so when you said this hold was it, the... Hold it, hold um. <coughs> Okay, go ahead. Uh, go, go ahead, start it over. That's on the one hand. It is not possible for two I thought you were going to start it over. Oh, okay. But it must even do so. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. So you're saying, hey, that's got to be. Yeah. No. Go ahead. What do you? So that far, you have no problem. Agree. That. The Pardon me. Up to this point, you have no problem. 
Well, I want to make clear that. But please answer me. Yes, I do. Have Thank a you. Problem. Go oh. ahead. So there's something before that. Then yes. Then maybe you need to go back to where your problem starts. Sorry, I'm trying I mean to that. Read where he said to read, so it's difficult to. Pierre, she said her problem starts earlier than that. Well, I thought she started with that sentence. So oh, okay. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind wherever she goes to show her problem, but it wasn't in the sentence. Right. Okay. But well, originally, she clues. started with that sentence. Absolutely. Well, that's where I. That's where I. But it must even do so. I take it that it must go to many. Is that fair or not? Or that it, or that not one participates of many. So he's going to show that the it must even show that nothing prevents it from participating of many. Is that what that means? I don't know. It's, uh, you need as much precision as you can get for the question that you have. What is the if it, hold it for me. Therefore, if it's in the prior sentence, go through it and stop where you're stuck, if you can do it that way. Thus, on the one hand, go ahead. Thus, on the one hand, it is not possible for to be, to be present with the one. So to be is not possible to be present with the one if indeed it does not exist. Any problem so far? No. Good. Keep going. But on the other hand, nothing prevents it, that is to be, to participate of many. Yeah. Okay. But... No, pardon me. So far there's no problem. No. Good. But to be must even do so, or it's just, but it must even do so. It must participate of many. But to be. So, so far I don't hear a question. All right. Do, have you stated it or did I miss it? I want, I haven't gotten there. Okay, okay. If indeed the one is not, but to be must even do so. If indeed the one, okay, but it must in, it even do so. If indeed the one is not, and is not something else than that, what's the that referred to? The one that is not? The one, okay, if indeed the one is not, and is not something else, then the, then one, the that one is not. Then the one is not. Okay. Now why did you have a problem with it? Because I didn't know whether the, that went to the many, or to to be. Um. Yeah, but the subject is the one is not, isn't it? In that sentence? That's what he's talking about, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not not something other than that. Is that right? Is that what he's saying? It is now. It looks like it. Okay. See, uh, what's great about this is that uh, uh, the use of the logos. You got to be in the logos, right in that paragraph, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. You, you have to follow the right. You've got to be in the low rows. And I have to admit, this paragraph, I had, I had to struggle to get into the logos. Yeah. So, it wasn't just an easy slip and slide.
Right. And this is a great line. You see, certainly then, right, this is a major statement. If neither the one nor that exists, then nothing will exist. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is a this is really hmm. uh, the condition for ST. Hmm. Right? This is the condition for the verb it it is. What is, yeah. yeah. Oh, ST. Right? You're saying, hey, I'll tell you, this is what I mean by ST. Right? Nice, yeah. And it's a very sophisticated notion. Right? Certainly, if neither one nor that exists, nothing will, will, will be. Mm-hmm. Right? But if the Logos is about something else, then there's nothing that can be spoken of, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So therefore, the Logos must be about, must include what is. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. So that's a perfect definition Beautiful. of the Logos, right? That's mm -hmm. the scope of the Logos, what is. Right? Interesting. I you missed because you were in the kitchen. My announcement that I I really struggled with this paragraph. Right. So you have also a definition of is and what the logos includes. Mm -hmm. Right. So he's pulling it. He's pulling it all together in this one paragraph. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating conclusion to add on to right. that. And therefore, you're ready for the last step. Yeah. Right? Yes, let's go. <laughs> and that is really great, isn't it? If non existence underlies that one and is not something other than that, then it's also necessary for the self have a share of that non-existence and many others. What a paragraph. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that a hell of a paragraph? Man. See, that follows, that follows from that, uh, for the self, first of all, there must be a knowledge, right? There must be knowledge of the self, right? In seven, you're in yeah. seven, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they go together. And he had that in mind because in the Greek world, the big thing you see all over the place is the 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah. So now come the big conclusions from that, okay? Now we got a whole bunch of conclusions. And they're all quite amazing. Um, from did entirely we... so. Go ahead, someone. Accordingly then. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Accordingly then, 
Unlikeness is also present with the self. One. In relation to the others. Or the others by being different, different than the one. Will also be of a different kind. Right? Ah, he's doing it, right? That's what follows. Hmm. Hmm. So unlikeness is present with the self in relation to the others. For the others, by being different than the one, ah, will also be of a different, different, uh, total different kind. Mm -hmm. Yes. What the hell do you mean? But not those of another kind. Various? Other? How could they not be? But, uh, but uh, are, are, are not the various unlike? They are indeed unlike. Mm -hmm. By heavens, who would have guessed that? So I guess indeed they are unlike. That's the same thing you did with different, right? Yeah, yes, please. They are indeed unlike. Yeah, someone want to answer that? And, uh, uh, answer what? Please. Oh. Um, certainly then. Um, oh, see. Is it, are we at they, is it not the case then? 14? Yeah. Yeah. Or 15? Is it not the case? Is it not the case then? that if indeed they are unlike the one, it is evident that they will indeed be unlike that which is unlike. Can you repeat that, Mr. please? Sure. <laughs> is it not the case then, that if indeed they are unlike the one, it is evident that they will indeed be unlike that which is unlike? Is that it's, just un it's just simply... A will indeed be unlike the, the like. Unlike the unlike. Yeah, un, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. They will, and there's, it, or if, if you know Greek, you could say, they will indeed be unlike unlike. Right. That's right. Right, okay. yeah. Or unlikes unlike. Mm. It is evident. It is evident. Certainly then, unlikeness will also be in the one according to which yeah interesting huh the others will be unlike in relation to the self so it is reasonable interesting I gotta go back over this now we're gonna go to great better. conclusion but certainly if it is unlike the others then must not the self be the likeness of itself <laughs> Yeah, How? that's interesting. <laughs> if unity were unlike... Right, right, right. No, yeah. that's a, mm -hmm. right. Pretty. It's a pretty point. I don't know about the likeness. That's interesting. Would not... Well, it's okay, I guess. Or likeness. Would not the self so, be likeness... Be the likeness of itself? That seems like a slippery trick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and do some linking. More precision reasoning. So, you know, you're sticking, you're sticking uh, likeness and unlikeness in the self. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's, like, uh, it's like saying everything that makes the self like the self is also what makes it unlike the others. Oh, that's that. That can be said. That's where it's coming. Um, shall we continue with unlike until we? Uh, sure, but can get I ask? To equal. Sure, but no. could, um, could I say? Is it? This is a yes, a different yes. statement of it. But certainly, if it is unlike the others, then must not the self 
not be unlike itself, but rather be the likeness of itself. I like would that. Would that kind that of... That would be lovely. Okay, that's just a... I'm working through it for myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How? <laughs> if... if wait, wait a while, wait a while. Okay. What do you think of that difference that Barbara just introduced? It made it clear. Could you, could you repeat it? Um, See, it was good, so I thought maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, the. Well, I said, but certainly, if it is unlike the others, then must not the self not be unlike itself, but rather be the likeness of itself. It's as if you put an extra step in there to show how that conclusion would follow, mm. is the way I see it. You, is that fair enough? Because yeah. isn't he's just yeah. making it unlike the others? So you then, beefed it up. I beefed it up. Yeah. He jumped. He jumped a step. Right? He kind of jumped a step. Yeah. Um, are we ready? For the reason for which. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And then it lets you make that step with greater certainty, kind of, you know, or surety. Your mountain goat qualities are enhanced. <laughs> Yeah, well, some, don't you think it's sometimes like a mountain goat? Like you're kind of like, have to watch your footing or, or you fall off. I like mountain goats, but they do manage some pretty fine feet. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. That great line of Aristotle's. How? <laughs> right? Ooh, that's good. That's right? going to give us reasoning. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Right. Fill in some things here he, for us, Parm. He's in, he's in the right place. Yeah. yeah. With the right comment. <clears throat> okay, let's see it. If, <laughs> if unity, of course, this is if one. If unity, well, that's interesting. Is. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, the Greek. Okay. If unity were unlike the one. Wow, well, this is going to be his reason. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry. Look at this reason. Let me start again. <laughs> if unity were unlike the one, then the logos would somehow not be possible about the one, nor about that which is like it, nor would there be the hypothesis about the one, but something other than the one. Bang! Such That's his such reasoning. an interesting reasoning That's for that. That's called reasoning. That's very amazing. And so for those of you who like to play with options, those the unity term is a one term. And you can see that it's possible to translate it simply the one because he does it in the next line. Right? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if likeness is un unlike the one to the one, so, you, Pierre, you see that unlikeness is actually the subject. And so the sentence could read, if unlikeness is of the one with respect to the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is, in fact, better a match for the reasoning above, mm -hmm. right? Because unity is the subject. That's a genitive, mm -hmm. right? And that's a dative then the logos would somehow not be possible about the one. And for him. Right. Nor about that which is light, which is such, nor about that which is such. Nor would there be the hypothesis about the one, but about something other than the one. Hmm. I'm not a happy camper. So if if the one if the one if the one is unlike the one mm -hmm. <coughs> then there's no logos. Mm -hmm. After that. Right. Right, then you wouldn't be able to talk about the possibility of the one nor about that which we're talking about which happens to be like it. Mm-hmm. In other words, even the hypothesis about the one? Mm-hmm. It'd have to be something totally other than the one, if mm -hmm. you want to hold that point of view. Mm-hmm. 
so I think it would avoid confusion if you said nor about that which is such like or of such a kind or something like that because that's not like that word that and there where we're talking about likeness and unlikeness it seems to me confusing to say nor about that which is like it but, well not. you see he's <coughs> he, he's laying that down so he can make a conclusion yeah yeah I guess <coughs> That is fascinating. Look at that coming conclusion. Right? Accordingly, then, mm -hmm. give up on likeness. Mm -hmm. Then the likeness to the one, to itself, must be of the self. Mm -hmm. Bingo. That's 19. Yeah, Everybody I know. I skipped, that? yeah, I skipped okay. it. That indeed must yeah, be yeah, the that's case. Okay. Yeah. And that's the, isn't that the same, wow, that's so interestingly put compared to 16, right? Mm hmm Because the self has to be the likeness of itself, and now the likeness to the one itself must be of the self. Totally agree yes. with you. Right, accordingly, the likeness to the to the one. Mm-hmm. That is to itself. Mm-hmm. You have to pass that on to the self. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and it could just be the likeness to the one itself must be of the self. Yeah. There's not <clears> really <throat> a necessity for the other to... It, it's possible, but it's not necessary. You know that previous four minutes, if unity were unlike the one? Yeah. Could that read, if one were unlike the one itself? Uh, nope. Okay. I mean, if you mean literally, there's no one, there's no itself. Okay. But if that's your understanding of, if unity were unlike the one, that's in the Greek. It's the itself part that isn't in the Greek. Oh, but unity is there. Okay. Well... That's one way of handling, we, we t I think we talked about this on a day you weren't here, but no. it's a question as to whether henos, which is the genitive case, mm -hmm. has a different meaning, perhaps a genitive meaning, and uh, because it is genitive in, th in that case, and does it have a different meaning because of its case, oh, okay. and so we're allowing that unity might in some contexts be a better word for it than one. Okay. I don't know where Pierre stands with that in this or where I stand with you, or where Nancy stands with you. Right now you're sitting, so. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go through that. Oh, um, yeah. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Because sometimes it really does look like it's a unity kind of a thing, especially when it forms a complete uh, a whole, for example, then you then the word unity seems fit. And that if, could it read if one self were unlike the one? Would that be a hmm. are, are we talking about seventeen? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, 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 oh. There isn't <coughs> there isn't unity in sixteen. Unless I have my numbers wrong, which is Oh I, I but certainly if my, it is I've got a different translation. Do you have, but certainly if it is unlike the others, must not the self be the likeness of itself? Yeah. Is that what the one you have? Yeah. I don't know. You have to go? No. Oh, sorry. You I had all your books folded up and I thought... Cashews. All right. <laughs> well... <clears throat> <clears throat> if you get this far, now he's going to go on equal. 
mm -hmm. right? from likeness to unlikeness, now it goes to equal. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> uh, and if he goes to equal, he has to go to unequal or inequality. Mm -hmm. Agree? Mm -hmm. And uh, and that goes all the way to a great conclusion, which should puzzle the hell out of you. Twenty-four. Thirty-three. 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 No, I mean, watch out. If you follow now, he's going, he finished unlike and like, now he has to go to equality. Then he's going to deal with the idea of equality. Mm -hmm. After he does that, he's going to go to inequality and deal with that. From that, he makes a conclusion. <clears throat> and the conclusion I just want to throw out because it's going to cause us a lot of fun. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Can you go to um, further on on the next page? And certainly, which I call the 33rd reference to Parmenides. Hmm, I'm missing one, maybe. I have that as 32, I don't know why. Okay, but, uh, my oh, which one? Counter may be off somewhere. Is this Usia? <clears throat> and certainly the self must yes. also? No. Okay. Go ahead, read it. And certainly sel the self must also participate of Usia in a definite way. Whoa, that's very interesting. Why is that interesting? Well, because we have the not, we have the not one, the one does not exist. This, the hypothesis is the one does not exist. And so suddenly here we have participation of Usia. Where, where are you at? Where are you reading? Uh, I'm reading 161. E okay. five maybe. Thank you. So the you know this is a we see this as a match to the second, and there's right and there's Usia there and here's Usia. And this is the self participating Usia. So what do you see here, Pierre? Well, they are doing good. Yeah, go sure. to the next one. How so? <clears throat> How so? The self must possess Usia in this way that we have described. Really? Jeez Louise. For otherwise we shall not speak truly when we say the one is not. Wow. If we do, but if we do speak truly, then it is clear that we have affirmed that selves are beings. Or is, not, or is it not in this way? Right. So 33 and 34 together. Yeah. It's a lovely conclusion that should baffle wow. us, right? It's baffling me. My head is exploding. So radical. So 30. So 31, surely then, as is reasonable, the one does not exist. Yeah. The one that does not exist will also have a share of equality, bigness, and smallness. And right. certainly, the self must also participate of Usia. Whoa! Sorry, a little bit of enthusiasm here. No. <clears throat> From that conclusion, he comes to those two points. It's for this reason he's known as Parmenides the Giant Stepper. Right. Right? Wow. But yeah. from all of that reasoning <clears throat> mm -hmm. about the one that does not truly exist, mm -hmm. it'll also share of equality and the nesses. Mm -hmm. That's reasonable. Well, if it's reasonable, then uh, <laughs> there's a certain certainty that follows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. What? Right? The self must possess Usia in this way, that, which is the way we've described. Right. For otherwise, we should not be able to talk about it or speak truly when we say the one is not. <clears throat> right? But if we do speak truly, 
then it's clear that we've affirmed that the self are beings. Wow. That goes back to the second, right? Or it is? Mm-hmm. Second and... Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to continue the mystery, you can go to 36. Mm -hmm. Accordingly, then, as it is reasonable, the one yeah. has, is without beings, without being. It exists. Wow. Where well, that were not the case, there would be no non-being. Then that, which is, would let something go to non-being, and that's the bond of being a non-being yeah. that we have dealt with previously. It lands us there. Wow. Cool. <laughs> And uh, this is why I was suggesting that the person who you might want to take through this would have to have a share quite a few ideas before they walk into it. Mm. Right. And especially the idea of bond. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's a happy one. I think I know a guy. Huh? I think I know a guy. Go ahead. That might be able to do it. Mm. He's a face I've never met him, but I talked to him a few times on Facebook. And he believes that we're separate from the gods and there's no way for us to reach them. His name on Facebook is Parmenides. Parmenides Elia, right? That guy. He's from South America or something? Yeah. Or is in South America, something yeah, like that. Yeah. He's where? He's in, I think he's in Mexico. <laughs> mm. I think you're right, Mexico. He's talking about uh, coming up here for a visit. He's very into, like, uh, he obviously likes the, this, uh, this dialogue. Yes. <laughs> but he has a lot of... Um, Blocks or misunderstandings? Yes. Misapprehensions? And at the same time, he's familiar with the language so you mm. be able to oh yeah to that's right that's a good thought it'd be kind of nice if they could follow theoretical reasoning you could take them through the second then go to the sixth and deal with their belief system and then go back to the sixth to the yeah. second but yeah see, good luck with it yeah mm. but <clears throat> in principle though the goal is this now, to whatever degree wow. you match it in all of these respects is something else, but uh, yeah. to certain parts of this were going to be incomprehensible, which are not needed, really, are not needed mm. for people mm. who, who haven't got reached this level of sophistication. Why introduce ideas which are totally alien to them about something that they don't need it? need. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something Plato, right, huh? sees, there's something Plato sees and is doing. Yeah, see, he's thorough. He's not like Pierre. I go for the shortcut. <laughs> well, I think it might be, say, the, the, the other problem is whether the, your shortcut someone might be willing to sit through, whereas the long parts involving the, te the parts that are elegant and beautiful and sophisticated, they, they might put too much of a burden on the listener. They'd run out and, yeah. uh, and never return. Yep.
Yeah, like there would be like, like... Look here, we can test it out. Want to test it out? That's it. All right. Try it on now, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually think Julia, our friend, she may or may not be here today, but she was saying she wanted to take on a positive and a negative hypothesis for demonstration. She was saying that. And here we have a the match set. <laughs> Remember you were going to do five and six on the grounds that five was the entry way to six, the negatives? Yeah, the gap. The but gap. this, this, right, you see where it says here, finds a true believer in a system like Jung? Yeah, I'm going to be looking I for I believe one. that was somebody oh, put up there yeah. for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm in the Jung now. I'm going to find a true believer. Yeah, you can do it. Do yeah, she can do it. Can. Do you know of one? Do you believe it? You can no, do no. six do you and know two. Someone that could yeah. No. Go through this? No. Well, I would go through it myself. She doesn't know anyone who matches that because they don't exist. Yeah, right. Um, like, there's maybe like maybe, like maybe one person. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, uh, like who could you point in your group who uh, can rep represent Carl Jung in all of the volumes that are available? Uh, not in my group. But we have a bigger group, the Orange County Young Club, and you know they bring in expert speakers. I didn't ask you why they have expert speakers. <laughs> <That's bullshit. coughs> well, I would think the expert speakers would be. You, please don't be so naive. Yeah. Well, just to say, <laughs> put in front of it. Circle. Put in front of it. They should know it. As she did. Yeah. She said they should be. Okay. That is, well, and maybe they shouldn't be. Just an expert speaker might say, you know, let me lay out Jung for you. And now, you, you can clearly see this is crap. <laughs> they could still be an expert speaker and not, ha not be right. invested personally. Like, wouldn't you start with, does not Carl Jung, isn't Carl Jung a cheat? <laughs> because? Well, prob I <laughs> might. Then you're not a Jungian. <laughs> well, according to his two essays on psychotherapy. Does, does he not state that if the truth be known, he's really a philosopher, but because of the state of philosophy in the universities, he doesn't want to be considered a philosopher? There he's really, therefore, not a psychotherapist at all. He's a philosopher, and he's charging people for philosophy under the aspect of psychology, and therefore he's a fraud. Yeah. Right. It's a fraudian, not a fraudian. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Yes. That's, that's a Julie. Freud that's a Julie. A, Freud was a Freudian, too. So, I mean, Freud on his deathbed said, I was never a psychiatrist. I was always a mythologist. The Methodologist? Myth mythologist. Because necessity with a capital N became his final hmm. cause. Resting place. <laughs> Does it sell out? See. And if anybody really knew the psychology and alchemy, they'd laugh at that, wouldn't they? I hope so. I'm going to be reading that soon. And I hope I laugh. You're going to read? Why don't you... Psychology and alchemy. But why don't you bring the, the tape? Oh, the video. Yeah, I'm watching it now. What? what bring it, did you say? To the I meeting. don't know if you're watching it now. Oh, I'll show it to the uh, group, yeah. I suspect you... Do you, you, you know it? At this point, I mean, mm -mm. you know what's going on in it? Not yet. But you should take a look at it first before oh, you present course. it. Yeah. Yes, She's yes. watching it. She's watching it. She said yes, she was watching, watching it. it. She was watching it. I did, did this time Is it the it? tense element? Yes. Time. You were watching it. Did you go through it? I didn't get that far, no. <laughs> I'll be picking it up. I mean, I... Uh, yeah, I got into some other things. What's, what's the video? <laughs> it's a video on uh, psychology and alchemy on your. I was playing the piano of while it was on. Yeah, PRS yeah. videos that's online. If you want, I'll send you the no, link. No, I was. Because I have it. Fully. I'm just wondering. But I had okay. to get my grades in. And that's did you read? Did you, did you correct all those little five point guys? No, you know, I haven't even found them. <laughs> okay, good. Because I thought of another thing. You could just give everybody 10 points on the record for them, if, yeah. and then the people to whom it would, and check, yeah, you know. Yeah, I did that, I did that. 
Oh, you did. Yeah. You just gave him all ten points. Excellent. Well, no, but I, so I worked it out. But you're not going to read those things, though. Tell me you're not going to read them. Say, I'm no, I'm not going to waste my valuable time reading exercises that result in ten points on a 300 and, what is it? 35, 45 point scale? Yeah. Thank you, Julie. Lie to me. I need you to lie to me. Uh, Pia. You can always punch me in the nose, too. That would be another response. <laughs> Screw you. Ah. You didn't like the truth? No, I like the truth. Oh, okay. I do. Then since we affirm that we speak the truth, then it is also necessary to affirm that we speak of beings. Wow, I like it. <clears throat> Where are you reading from, Jules? Well, this is... Well, let, let's go back. Just before hey, that, Nancy. Uh, yeah. Are you the kind of person I can pose a couple of questions to? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a do you have a self? How strictly do you want me to take your words? For example, I mean, there's a good yes. person. Yes. Self. Have a self, Sam. Have a self. He said, yeah. "Have a self." <clears throat> And then among, among the things that you would say that the self in, in some way possesses, mm -hmm. uh, would you say it has a boundary? No. Well, but it, as an idea, it can be distinguished yes. from yes. other things. Yes. Oh, in that sense, it might have a limit. Yes. Only. Yes. Yeah. So, um, is, have you ever thought about it? does the self have a bond something that binds it together yes it must huh it must in some sense oh, that, you know the, the bond that keeps it together mm -hmm. is non-being is actually that which is not yes yes otherwise huh Mix into that realm. Well, so you accept the idea that there is a self, and it is of such a nature that there is something that bonds it together. That belt, as yes, it were, yes, yes. and that belt is, yeah, yeah, or yeah, or, or that which is not, or which is another way of talking about non-being. Well, I like the idea. Of using mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rather than say, could you say the same bond. thing for being? Uh, does being have a bond? Must a being have a bond too? Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the being, in the same way that bonds it together, must be not mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I see. But not to be. Oh. Hmm. Then being must must have a bond of uh, not to of not being or non-being in order for it to be perfectly what it is. Mm -hmm. Now I would suspect that these points would be very difficult to make unless someone can use this kind of language. Mm, yeah. Right? I mean, it must show it, uh, a very high level of sophistication, right? So that's why I say, if you pull this off, mm -hmm. mm. that presupposes the person must be familiar at least with the ideas right. so mm -hmm. that they can, re rather than, excuse me, let's now talk about whether it's, in what sense does it make sense that uh, the self has a bond of not being or what is not. Oh, well, why must it? I mean, maybe it does, but I have to understand why it must. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's going to be hard for people. But the, according to him, if you're following the arguments of, of inequality, equality, 
uh, hmm. uh, in a very solid way, you are going to be drawn to that conclusion whether you like it or not. That's where he's reasoning, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And then you're going to. Uh, uh, See, the self must participate of usia in a certain way, right? How is that? It's back at 31, I think, or yeah. 32. Mm -hmm. The self must possess usia in this way, you know, it's a certain way, in this way. And, uh, which is we've described, by the way, in case you wondered. For otherwise, we're not going to speak truly when we say the one is not. This is, this is why, this is what it takes to be able to talk with the logos about the one is not. <clears throat> and if you do that, if we speak truly about it, then it's clear that we've affirmed that the self, selves are beings, mm -hmm. plural. Mm -hmm. Wow. See, see, a lot of these comments, it's the way he reasons, right? When he reasons about something, he will always put into it things that are true, that are not, that are not part of the subject, but are necessary about the subject, which presupposes the second hypothesis. So, mm. right, it's not positive or negative, right? Mm. Like, is it not true that any time you want to talk to someone about politics, every Republican knows positive things about themselves and negative things about themselves. Mm -hmm. And equally about the Democrats, they know positive things about themselves and negative things about themselves. Mm -hmm. In American politics, all the commentaries all the commentaries, what they do is, if they're Republicans, they want to talk about the weaknesses in the Democrats and pick the positives on their side. And equally well, the reverse. I mean, that's the way people reason. That's called, see, we're only taught debating. We're not taught dialect, right? Debating, taught right. rhetoric. Rhetoric, yeah. Right? Hmm. Right. Right. And the, the real question would be, if you could line up all the positive and negatives of both sides, now what the hell are you going to do? Mm. It may be that you don't go for either one of them. Because yeah. what the hell, they, they, may not, they, may not, they may not include what you want, or they disregard what you do want. Then you have to make a real judgment. Yeah, mm. so, <clears throat> so in that same way, he reasons this way, that when he's talking about something, He'll then use things from another hypothesis, which gives you an insight that belongs in the other one. Hmm, yeah. Okay, yes. That's true, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting, like on a great scale of what we see on a small scale, right? Like justice in the Republic. He'll tell you something about justice when he's talking about injustice, yes. right? And, or about injustice where he's... Right. That's and, right. But here it's like big scale. That's right. In hypothesis two and hi versus hypothesis six. Mm -hmm. Say hypothesis six, some points about that are true about hypothesis right. two. So if you really want to know two, you'd have to know six. Mm. Because he's going to say things which are going to illuminate six in order to make clear something. In six, he has to use two truths from the seconds, which he never enumerated. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> But and the so necessity it, for them is in six. Hmm. And it kind of completes the picture of two. Right? I mean, that's... Yeah, that's very just, interesting that he should show the necessity. Because that's we were looking at the similar thing. We were saying that in six we would see six should demonstrate the necessity of two. But now we're saying that there are some things needed for six that are true things about two that were not used in two. So, so that we're going to... show two, though. To show... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. To add the picture of two. Yeah, right. Necessary for two, I think, right. is what you said. So, too. it's a weaving, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a weaving. Right. 
this guy's he's sleeping with this. Yeah. Right? He's like, oh, I forgot a part here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's necessary for me to talk about that. Maybe I should have mentioned it before, but I, I didn't have to because if I mentioned that there, it'd be redundant to put it here twice, so I'll forget it there and I'll put it here where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Use too much, uh, <laughs> right. But, but that's that's an amazing kind of reasoning, isn't it? I mean, th th that kind of reasoning is really efficient. Very Minim efficient. Minimalistic. Isn't it? That's right. Minimalistic. <clears throat> you don't need any thread with this guy. It's not like this comes together himself. One piece of thread. <laughs> 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 Nothing like it in history, it seems like. Oh no. Right? Like, like you can close. go the you can go the Upanishads and these other works, you know. And that's like when Alan Watts said, Hey Pierre, moved from Plato to Narcajuna. Didn't do it. I didn't do that. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Why? Different. Why? Why did he say that? I don't know. It's him. He liked the light, huh? I don't know. Hmm. He, well, I do know. He, he, uh, <clears throat> None of the people I, I met in my early years ever ne, ever got into Plato. Like Carl Jung says he's a mythologist, but he never deals with Plato's myths. How is that possible? Someone can say, I know I'm a mythologist, but he doesn't deal with Plato's myths. Right. I mean, Even when Pierre confronted him about it, right? Yeah, I mean, how, how, what? Right? What was his excuse? Something like, because there were man-made myths or something? It was something weird, wasn't it? I, I'd forgotten the story as you told it about, um, and I may be off track completely, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about... Um, but see, the old myths are man-made. Yeah. What did they come down from heaven or something? <laughs> <laughs> Mana. Yeah. Right? Someone expresses something and someone picks right. it up, and, unless they listen to God. Of course, everybody knows he spoke in terms of Latin, not of Greek, or Sanskrit, I forgot. What did I say? I can tell we stayed too long. You know how I can tell? It's raining. <laughs> it is? Yes. I'll be gone. No, no, today's supposed to be a clear day to go to the beach. It's going to be a sunny beach day. Yeah, 64% chance till 7 p.m. of rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Say, so, let me ask you a question back to this. Mm. Um, <clears throat> would it be easier to take one of these true believers? and ask them about Mickey Mouse? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Sure. I think it'd be much easier. And then you could have maybe apply that. But, yeah, how, what, what would be the... How would you make the possible transition? See, when you get to now, now that you're getting in broad statements, we can ask what else is included. What do you, what do you mean uh, by broad statements? I don't ah. get that point. What do you mean by broad statements? Well, this, uh, the, the very quotes we're in now, 33, 34, 36, 37, right? These are broad statements that, are, that have the grand sweep. And therefore, you can use that as, let us see what is similar, what else may fit into that class. 
Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd want to start with Mickey Mouse, though, because it has an unfortunate secondary meaning. If something is Mickey Mouse, it's That's not what? worth anything, <laughs> right? I think you can start with the grand corpus of Disney mythological characters and work your way back to Mickey Mouse, <laughs> because, you know... Yeah, okay. I'm but just wait, joking. I have wait, joking, but If you I did think that, no, no, see, if you did that, you would be using all the terms that you need. Mm. Like, would you not agree for, for all of those characters to be in some way, they have to fit together as a unity? Yeah. Well, then, in that sense, they must share in a one, oh, a yeah. kind of one. Yes. Are you right? doing that in the movie? Yes. Right? And not only that, but the idea of likeness and unlikeness mm -hmm. must be present. And they have a family, right? and brothers and sisters and grandchildren. And yeah. So it's, it's a nice way of disguising it. And, and you have to admit that, uh, that they can be known. Yes. Is that right? It's necessary that they can be known. Yes. Even though they don't have beings. That's right. Right? Come on, do some yes. more. Come on, just okay. just quickly glance back and you can use it. Come on. Would you not agree that we must affirm from the beginning that what must be, what must be, if the one is not? See, if the one is not, right? Would you not agree? Uh, we can, there, are, there are things that are not. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that they have a mode of existence. Yep. Right? So yep. we can talk about the sixth hypothesis in terms of Mickey Mouse and the, the whole family. Mm -hmm. And therefore we can use this reasoning, can we not? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. right. Like there should be nothing obscure Right? As you, if you keep in mind that we're talking about the Disney family. Right? Yes, there should be nothing obscure. Right. Now that'd be fun to check it out, hold it throughout the whole. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so, so that, say, you can, you can literally do that. But then when you get to the paragraphs we're in now, uh -huh. Now that's much broader, and now you can then say, hey, what else is like things like Disneyland, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. The Roman Catholic Church, for example. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, so it either will be or it won't be. I'm not, right. yeah. So it would be a good way. Or Jung. See, and it has, and it has nothing within it. There's nothing internal, in, there's no intrinsic truth within Mickey Mouse. I mean, all it is is a vast manyness without any distinctions. Someone comes along and says, what are you talking about? Of course, there's a hell of a lot of distinction between Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. He says, excuse me, isn't what's in them all the same? The level of their being is... No, what's the in them, inherent in each of those figures, is sawdust. <laughs> oh, sure. Right? <laughs> right. Well, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> right? Classic or, yeah. Right? Except, except, I saw this talk show once and one of the contestants, her job was to watch all media to see if anyone was belittling Mickey Mouse because she would then sue them. So even though he has no substance, his reputation can have a lawsuit. See, the grounds for his iconography about things that are not about so, things that are not. That's right. See, so it has a mode of existence. It is not being, and therefore it fits precisely in the whole logic of the six. Mm -hmm. Now the question here is, how do you move from? the one to the other. And it won't take much. So all you have to ask is, so is it possible that at the root of your systems is a belief? A belief that you can't know?
Ja, de jongen moet zeggen ja. Ja. Uh oh, wait a minute, then you believe in something which in principle is, 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 you can't, is unknowable. Right. Oh, you can know that. Yeah. Oh, how is it possible that you know it? Hmm. There must be something in you necessarily that can make distinctions between being and non-being. Mm-hmm. Right? Necessarily, agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, the, that's either an accident or it's very necessary given the idea of the self. Therefore, the self must be able to make distinction between being and non-being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, I'm glad yeah. none of you asked about the idea of the baban. The baban? Yeah. Baban. B O N D. Wait, oh, I seem to have forgotten something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where does Baban go? James Baban. But you see, isn't there something that ties all of that stuff together in, or includes all of it? it? Doesn't it? I mean, what you're saying is that that image of, of Mickey B, Mouse just about. through time they want to defend. Mm -hmm. Right? right. Mm -hmm. So, w what keeps it going? Well, that non-being must assume being. Mm -hmm. If it assumes it, it can be the bond. Mm -hmm. Whatever you assume can be, in fact, the principal bond that holds it together. Wow. Notice we're using the idea of assume to make sense of this bond, the idea of bond. Like that lawyer. Right? She's yeah. got her whole soul in defending Mickey Mouse's existence. <coughs> Purely. Right? And it's integrity. And checkers, that's why they want that to continue in time. Right. Well, then given that property of this myth, this non-being, it takes on the aspect of some kind of existence. That's what he says, some kind of existence. Right. Some kind of existence? Is that what you mean? Some kind of existence? Mm. Yes. Sorry. Um, that yes wasn't to your question. I was just tuning in again. My mind is beginning to... Participates in Lucia in a definite way. Pardon? He participates in Lucia in a definite way. <coughs> sure. The same, the same oh, yeah. Put that in. Well, it's in some way. I mean, definite. Yeah, yeah. Why does it need that? In a certain that? way, in some way. Why does he need that? See, hmm. you have to keep in mind that the second is the one participates in Lucia. Uh -huh. Is it possible that Lucia can function independently of its combining with the one? Wow. Just with the self? Yes, it's possible. Well then, what is it doing independent of the one and all those qualities? A it keeps question. things together. Mm-hmm. Yes. See? That lawyer has to have all the essential properties of Mickey Mouse and keep them together as a unity. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> and must be able to define it in such a way that any deviation from it, is an, it gives them the right to sue or to take offense. Yes. But what keeps all of those qualities together as a unity? See, they always ask that question. See, they don't ask cause. Well, I mean, they do ask cause. But they, they ask questions we don't ask, which is, what is the condition for this being as it is? Right, so, like, uh, what is the condition for you're a lawyer having all of those qualities together as a unity? Well, something must keep them, hold them together. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have to have some kind of a unity, a oneness. Mm -hmm. You see that property of turning upon mm -hmm. itself to keep itself together. Hmm. It, it, it seems like 
kind of like a secondary function of the zia. Yeah. Right? It is. It's That's right. Its primary function is with the second. Yeah. It's, all, it's like, can we call it a shadow of the zia? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Or. Yes, you can ask that about a pathologist. What is it that keeps it as a unity? Like, what maintains it over time? Right? Yeah. Why is it that people very clearly know when that's being impinged upon yeah. or challenged, right? It must have some identity moving through time. What keeps it together? That, that something ties it together, keeps it to Osea. Wait a minute. But it's non-being. So there must be some bond. We mm. must assume. A b some, not, some being in non-being. Right. That's right. the bond. That's the bond. Which enables us it to be, have in our usia function, really. Or not. No, when it's all together, yeah. then you can talk about the bond. That yeah, that holds it together. Yeah, that's right. Such as it is. Ah. Right. Yes, go ahead. Yes. I call that the bell. No. Turn. See, you see it, there's something that keeps it together. Once it's together, you can ask, what keeps it going that way? What must you assume? Some kind of cohesive thing, bond. Mm -hmm. But it has to be the opposite of that which it is. So the bond of non-being is being. Mm -hmm. The bond of being is non-being. That's true for the self and for the one. Hmm. Say, what keeps your faith together? All of the ideas together. That we are what we are and not something else? No, no. But the idea, there must be some cohesive power that keeps all those ideas together. Oh, as a unity. Oh. Something, as it were, binds it together. Now you can ask, what is it and why must it be the opposite of what it is? Could. If you get the, the reasoning for that, then you got it. If you like, get the reasoning for that, then you got it. Yeah. Why must it follow that it's the bond, the belt, is always the opposite of what it is? So that it can be perfectly what it is. I don't know. Yeah, but you see, for it to continue, Perfectly. That means all the parts fit together, like that lawyer. Yeah. Right? So, she knows that, that the essential element of it is non-being. But it acts as if it has a being, because they're going to see your ass off <laughs> if you violate what they are holding sacred. Yeah. Right? You slander the sacred Mickey. Right, and therefore it has a mode of existence. Uh-oh, that's the belt. Mm. Is the the answer, belt of being. Is the answer that the self doesn't, there's nothing independent of the self? Oh, that's a, see, that was going grand. That yes. Was, right? Yep. Well, that, I think that's I like it. here in the sixth. I think I saw that yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where it goes. So, so uh, the lower, the shadow, uh, Now, okay. So anyhow, therefore, there's going to be a hell of a lot of fun going through this. And if you can keep in mind Drew's idea of that lawyer, right? They are metaphysicians whose sole job is exactly that. Right? And they're oh. called the Inquisition. Right. Do you dare to make assertions that don't fit our body? 
Yeah. Right? Do, what? do you dare make assertions that don't fit our body of beliefs? Right? Yeah. That's for the Inquisition day. They put you down and they go ahead talk about the faith and they're looking for any statement that doesn't fit. Then they have the right to do your soul. Cut your leg off or something. Right. But it's the same thing as her lawyer. In so far as that's true, would that mean that the bond of non-being for Catholics is that they're not Protestants? <laughs> sure. Yeah, right? Essentially. Or that they aren't something else, yeah, right? That yeah, they are Catholics and they're not. A, that, that's what a Protestant is. Yes. Protest. Against that, against that Catholic dogma. Yeah. yeah. So vice versa would be true. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I noticed, I noticed um, these kind of like uh, Christian uh, propaganda people that hold up the signs and hang down the flag. They always go to places like Las Vegas or ridiculous places where people will never <coughs> accept what they're offering. And that reaffirms their faith. <laughs> because you wouldn't need faith if everybody agreed with you. Right. <laughs> they get really strong when they yes, we're right. Okay, we're on the, on the verge of getting into some good stuff, right? So, uh, we're going to uh, uh, Equality first, then inequality, and back to the real problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs>